want you guys got another video on how to install Windows 11 or Windows 10 to a new SSD without using a USB flash drive. So you can see we've got a drive right here on this system and you can see it's not initialized right now because there's a red cross right here. So we will need to initialize this because it's a new drive and we'll be installing Windows 11 on this drive. So let's right click on it and initialize disk. You should see GPT turn up right here. That's fine. That's what we're going to use. Click OK. And now it's initialized. It says it's online and that's exactly what we need. We have unallocated space right here. So what we're going to do is going to right click, click new simple volume. And this will open up this box right here. Click next, next again, and we can go next again. You can give it a name if you want to. Let's just give this a name so it's more recognizable. We'll call this something like Windows 11 so we know exactly what drive it is. And we're going to perform a quick format here and click Next and click Finish. And this should prep the drive and get it ready for use. There you go. So the drive is now open and you can see it's ready for use. So what we want to do next, we want to right click on this drive and go Shrink Volume. Because what we're going to do is use this to install our Windows 11. So make it about 10 gigs. That's enough for all of the files on a uh, ISO file for Windows 11. So we're going to just quickly shrink that. You can see we've got unallocated space here now of 10 gig roughly. Right click, go new simple volume. And we're going to go next again and go through the same process. So we're going to use the whole drive, click next. And we can now click next, leave it as F, that's fine. Give it a name, you can call this Windows 11 installer or something like that if you want to, or Windows installer, depending on what you want to call it. It really doesn't matter because we're going to delete this once we've installed Windows. So we're going to go next here, click finish. And now we have two partitions on one drive. So one of them is for all of our Windows files and one is for installing the Windows on. Once you finish Windows, installing Windows on here, we can extend that volume and basically take all of that space back. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to download a piece of software called EasyBCD. Uh, this is a free piece of software you can use for non-commercial use. And that's what we're going to be using right here. So let's go ahead and we're going to come down to the download section right here. And we'll be able to download this piece of software. You can see there is a couple of items here, commercial and also non-commercial. So let's go ahead to register and click on this one right here and then click on the download button to download the actual file so we can install it on our PC. So that's now downloading. What we're going to also need to do is we're going to need to download our Windows 11 ISO or Windows 10 or whatever it is you want to use. If you have an ISO file already lined around, you don't need to worry about downloading it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to download it right here. So select the download Windows 11 right here and then we can click on the download now. This will validate the download. Now we need to choose our language. Let's go ahead and choose English International right here. Click Confirm. And once we've got this done, we should now be able to download the 64-bit version of Windows 11 English International. So let's go ahead and do that. So once we've got that downloaded, we're pretty much all set to move on to the next stage. The next stage is to extract all of the ISO files. So what we need to do is right-click on the ISO and we're going to mount this ISO. So it's right up the very top here, and this will create a virtual mount. So let's go ahead and do that right here. And we can now wait for it to populate on the screen, and we should see a box popping up here, and we can click Open. There we go. So let's go ahead and now click on Open, and this will open up all of the files right here. So let's highlight all of these files and copy them to our Windows 11 installer partition on our other drive. So let's go ahead and copy this, copy, and we go this PC, and we go over to the Windows 11 installer partition, uh, and that's what we're going to do right here, and paste it inside there. So that's going to copy all those files over. That's now done. As you can see, we've got our files in here. And what we want to do now is just eject this uh, virtual um, mounted ISO right here. So let's go ahead and do that. That's now done, and there's all our files right here. So we can close this off, and now we're going to go ahead and install EasyBCD. So let's go ahead and double-click on the executable file, and what we're going to do is click Next, agree to their terms, and click Next, and Install. Now run EasyBCD, so let's click Run, 
choose our language and we can click OK here. That's fine. So just reading through, it's just telling you about the community uh, edition there. So let's go ahead. And so what we need to do is click on add new entry. So let's add a new entry down the bottom where it says portable and external media. Click on WinPE. The name, you can call it whatever you like. I'm just going to call this Windows 11 installer just so we don't get confused. And we can remove this afterwards once we've finished the installation. So now what we need to do is browse for our uh, files. So let's go ahead and click on the browse button. Go to our Windows 11 installer partition. Go sources. And we need to choose boot.wim. So let's go ahead and select boot.wim. This has got all the files in it to install Windows. So let's click open. And now what we need to do is click on the next button next to it to save. So let's click on this one right here. And you should see saved entry right here. So it's all done. It's been added to the boot menu. OK, so that part's now done. And we're pretty much ready to move on to the installation. So let me just quickly close this off right here. Say not now. And we can now close that off. OK, so what we want to do now is we want to reboot the system. And we're going to reboot the system and start to install Windows onto that drive. So click Restart. Now I'll show you uh, the part that you're going to need, this bit here. So we need to navigate down to the Windows 11 installer. Select that option. And now we can click Install Now and choose the Windows 11 partition that you want to install Windows on. So let's go ahead and do that. And it will go through and install Windows in a normal way. I'll quickly show this with a better screen right here. So you can see, you just need to put in your name that you want to use, your user account name, click Next and then give it a password if you want one, click next again, and then just go through the motions and then say no here, and then just say no again. And again, we can do required only, click accept, no again. All this is advertisement uh, for Microsoft. You really don't want that. And again, that's it. It's just gonna go ahead and install Windows just like you would on any PC and you're at the desktop. Now, this idea is going to be great for people that don't have a USB flash drive. Believe it or not, I don't know how many times I've asked people to reinstall Windows on Discord and they just simply don't have a USB flash drive, which makes it a little bit more difficult for them. But hopefully this will help you uh, be able to install Windows without a USB flash drive. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on our Discord server. Link is in the video description. Bye for now.